Hi everyone, Jose Otero here for IGN, and this is the fall update to our top 25 3DS games of 2016. Want to know which game clocked in at number one? Then let's get started. Fantasy Life is a fun blend of life simulation and RPG that offers a plethora of activities and fun ways in which to do them. Its kooky characters, silly humor, and incredibly addictive gameplay kept us fishing and foraging for hours. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes is more than just a fun co-op diversion. It's a challenging adventure game full of great puzzles and chaotic fun in local multiplayer. Limited communication tools make it difficult to play with adventurers online, but everywhere else, it's a success. As an RPG, Yokai Watch mostly fumbles its battle system and creates a relatively passive experience, but it also presents an adorable and compelling world. The low difficulty ultimately works in its favor. Yokai Watch is a kids' game that doesn't talk down or sugarcoat its darker themes to them. Kirby Planet Robobot may not be the most challenging platformer around, but its clever use of robotic destruction combined with gorgeous environmental puzzles and unique bosses make for an entertaining ride. Shin Megami Tensei 4 is an epic dungeon crawler by Atlas that features monster collecting, high-tech equipment, and a group of teenage samurai forced to navigate a dark, brooding world. It's a darker, more mature game that is definitely worth a try. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is a fully-fledged sequel that reunites everyone's favorite green-clad hero with Professor Egad and the Poltergeist. Dark Moon has the same hilarious tone of the first game and gives players a solid portable game. Box Boy builds a smart puzzle platformer out of a simple premise. Like any good puzzle game, it tosses lots of variety on top of an easy to learn idea. In this case, revolving around a plain looking living box that turns into more boxes. But what makes it a great game is how well the collection of puzzles come together for over 100 stages and beyond. In SteamWorld Dig, you power up a robot hero by finding and collecting hidden items, opening up a sprawling game map as you progress. The genius twist is that you explore the environment by mining into the earth itself, building your own unique in-game map filled with tunnels, mine shafts, teleporters, and more. Don't be fooled by Pushmo's cute and colorful visuals. Intelligent Systems eShop Puzzler starts off friendly enough, but as you progress through the 250 plus stages, you'll find a surprisingly deep collection of genuinely brain-breaking puzzles. By sharing user-created puzzles via QR codes, community members can help make it a puzzle game that almost never ends. Just when you think the fight is over in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, the next challenger steps in and ups the level of competition. It's a satisfying action RPG that adds enough new creatures, weapons, locations, and fighting moves to pull you in for hours at a time. Showcasing exceptional new ideas along with refined concepts from Square's golden age of RPGs, Bravely Default is a reminder that Japanese RPGs have unique flair and vision. If you've never experienced a job system from a Final Fantasy game before, get ready for one of the best character customization systems in the genre. Though a few of its flaws are even more glaring in 3D, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby do a fantastic job of bringing the nearly 15-year-old Hoenn region to life. There are even a few added post-game surprises to encourage you to keep training well beyond the 24-hour main story. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is the first genuine shakeup for this nostalgic platforming series, with a get-rich-or-die-trying approach that's surprisingly fresh, but still delivers the same reliable fun. The beauty of Mario Golf is that anyone can pick it up and learn how to play. World Tour builds up skill through simplicity, and packs in excellent challenges and multiplayer modes to keep you playing on the links for hours. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D proves that interesting game design and strong world building never get old. 15 years later, it still delivers charming characters, tense moments, and a world rife with personality. All three versions of Fire Emblem Fates feature an excellent story, likable characters, and a fantastic balance of tactical challenge and accessibility that had us returning to the battlefield again and again. Birthright is an amazing introduction, Conquest is great for veterans, and Revelation is an excellent final act to the Fate storyline. Mario Kart 7 marks yet another great entry for Nintendo's kart racing franchise. It still offers enough innovation to keep this formula fresh, with memorable new tracks, well-implemented gyro controls, and the triumphant return of coins, along with a handful of new modes. Shovel Knight doesn't only understand what retro gamers want, it also understands exactly what it is. 
copying plentiful inspiration from the past while forming it all into its own game. It lasts longer than your typical throwback, and all of that time is well spent. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D molded the 1998 Nintendo 64 original to fit a more modern standard. Sporting an updated visual style and a handful of gameplay tweaks split across two screens, Nintendo and co-developer Grezzo added a fresh layer of dimension to a game many already considered a masterpiece. Nearly every aspect of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS seems fine-tuned to not only appeal to the nostalgia of longtime Nintendo fans, but also be accessible to new players. Once they're hooked, it draws them in deeper with a set of great modes and tempting rewards. People will look back at Pokemon X and Y as the start of a possible renaissance period for Nintendo's popular franchise. It shook up the competitive metagame with the new fairy type and streamlined Pokemon's core systems to make battling, breeding, and training more accessible than ever. Animal Crossing New Leaf turned half of IGN's editors into incoherent weirdos obsessed with collecting fruit, fish, and furniture. This is a game about collecting, arranging, and showing it off to friends and frenemies alike. Super Mario 3D Land isn't just another solid platformer for a Nintendo handheld. It's the first game on 3DS that successfully implements 3D in a meaningful way as part of gameplay. The result is a great game that best utilizes the platform it's built on. Fire Emblems came and went before, but Awakening is a special chapter in the series. On one hand, it offered a top-notch strategy RPG with fun characters, witty dialogue, and a deep battle system. On the other, it offered up dealing with difficult choices and the stress of permadeath. The end result is a stunning combination. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds takes us back in time to one of the most influential games from the Super Nintendo era. It's a nostalgic trip, but one that finds new ways to captivate players with fresh ideas and inventions. And there you have it folks, that's the top 25 games on 3DS. Let us know what you think in the comments, and for more Nintendo coverage, keep it right here at IGN.